Hey, this is Allison from Mahalo Math. Welcome to our SAT prep series. We're going to be working some problems, and working with me today is Chrissy and Trevor. So let's get started. OK, so let's do problem number three. The figure above shows how a rectangular piece of paper is rolled to form a cylindrical tube. So we have this rectangle, and then it becomes a cylinder when we roll it up, right? OK. And we know that the, the rectangle is 4 by 6. It has a 4 centimeter side, and those meet with no overlap, right? So then that'll kind of tell us what the bottom is. And what they want to know is, what is the area in square centimeters of the base of the cylindrical tube? Does anybody think they know how to do it? Um, yeah, I do. Oh, okay, try. <laughs> um, I think it's asking for the area of um, the circle. That's right. It is asking for the area of the circle. So how do you find that out? Um, I would use um, the formula, uh, your area equals pi r squared. Right. And um, I would take 6 as um, the diameter of the circle okay. and uh, divide that in half, Okay. Um, which would give me 3. And so squared, that's 9. So okay. um, the area of the circle would be 9 pi or pi 9. OK, that's good. You're almost right. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing you did wrong, you're absolutely right that the bottom of that cylinder is definitely a circle. Mm -hmm. And you're absolutely right that the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. But the, the 6 centimeters isn't going to be the diameter of the circle. It's actually going to be the circumference. Oh. The 6 is actually going to be the distance all the way around the outside of the circle. So what we have to do is we have to use the formula for circumference. OK, so what we know is that the circumference equals 2 pi times the radius. So then what's the circumference? Um, 2 pi times the radius is? No, but I mean, what is? we actually know what the circumference of the circle oh, is. Six. That's 6, yeah. right. So 6 equals 2 pi r. So then we can divide both sides by 2 pi, right? Mm -hmm. So then what does that give us for the radius? Um, 3 pi? Actually, 3 over pi. It's three 6 pi. divided by 2 okay. pi, so it's 3 over pi. So now the area is equal to pi r squared. So what does that give us? Pi r squared. What happens when you square 3 over pi? What do you get? Is Just square the top and square the bottom. 9 over pi? 9 over pi squared. squared. Right. Yeah. One of the pi's cancel out, so we get the area equal to 9 over pi. Mm. It's a really easy, easy mistake to make, though, to look at that 6 and assume that that's the diameter and not the circumference, yeah. <laughs> because otherwise you did the problem exactly right. OK, cool. Good. Thanks for learning with us today. If you'd like any more information on these topics, click on the links below. And if you have a specific request, please send it to requests at mahalo.com. We'll see you later.